course, and as you can appreciate, there's a lot of there's a lot of concern. But I just wanted to put the bed because. Uh, there's a lot. There's some suspicion that this may be, uh, I guess, a step to permanently close this school. Well, Holy Redeemer has about 300 students in the population, servicing Spaniards Bay and Tilton. So it's a significant school population. So I just wanted to put it out there officially on the record. The premier also confirmed this for me last night. By absolutely, this is not the case. Holy Redeemer School is not permanently closing. The premier has told me that. He's confirmed. Um, I have his full support on that. But as we can all appreciate. You know, the source has to be determined and has to be safe, obviously, before the building can be reopened. So John Abbott also informed me that his team met with Minister Crystal Lynn Howell's team yesterday uh, to discuss um, you know, what the next steps are and, and, and what will be the bottom line if, if by the time the school year comes in September, you know, what the plan will be. Now, as you know, students from Holy Redeemer are currently housed now at All Hollows in North River, uh, Bay Roberts Primary which is the former Coley's Point Primary School, as well as St. Peter's in Upper Island Cove. So I want to throw a big thank you for everybody, for the community coming together here um, to co- for, their, for their cooperation, for parents' cooperation. Obviously, our neighboring schools, everybody is working together to make this work for our students as they can finish out their school year. Um, and just, you know, we're all waiting for answers. And I just wanted to reassure my constituents that I'm following up daily on this issue. So that's where things are. But I wanted to say, wanted to really put out there because there's been some fear, I guess, floating around on, on social media and whatnot. And there's been some suggestions. But, but it's, I have it, you know, directly from the premier that the Holy Reamer School is not permanently closing. The goal is to determine what the problem is and to reopen the building safely so everybody can get back in there, our school community in Holy Redeemer. It's confusing that uh, after this length of time, the source has not been identified. I'm not exactly sure what the complicating factors are, but I thought that would have been a pretty fundamental task, but obviously not. Absolutely. I mean, me, myself, I mean, I'm certainly not an expert in, you know, in, the, in conducting these tests. I'm, I'm told like, that the air samples have been, t- have been sent to labs. And they're digging, and now, of course, the next step it would be to be drill into the basement floor. So, I, I mean, all we can do is wait. But that said, I'm following up daily. But uh, you know, just parents, as you as we all appreciate. I mean, I know, Patty, you you're involved with your school community. You're talking about Gonzaga all that about your boys and whatnot. And parents are rightfully concerned, and teachers, and everybody, and even people who have no children in at Holy Redeemer currently. They they've approached me and they said, you know, we really hope that this problem gets resolved. We'd hate to lose our school. I went to that school. I started school actually at Holy Redeemer. It's my hometown in Spaniards Bay. But I, I thought it was important to get out there and, and to put that to bed immediately. Um, that is not the plan. It's not. There's no secret. There's there's no hidden agenda, and you know, and and everything to my knowledge has been reported to me. There's transparency on what's happening. Um, but we're ultimately just the unfortunate part is that there's no update, and those tests are ongoing. But we should be reassured. I'm going to be on this. I've also invited Minister Abbott to come out to my district. Um, and his availability to meet with some stakeholders. I've been in touch with the mayor, of course, of Spaniards Bay, and members of council as they're concerned, as well as, uh, you know, moms and dads and, and guardians of, in the, uh, of, of children who are attending Holy Redeemer. But that is the latest, and anybody is certainly welcome to call my office at any time, any assistance I can, you know, help them with or find out information. My constituency office is 786-1372. But I just wanted to get out there and put that update out there because as of yet, we're still waiting on the determination of the source. Appreciate the update this morning. Thank you, Minister. Thank you, Patty. Take care. Bye-bye.